if you're purchasing an iPad Pro for notes, you're not just going to be buying the iPad, you're going to be buying the Apple Pencil and some other accessories like cases and screen protectors. But you're also going to have to buy a dedicated note-taking app. The two most prominent ones are Notability and GoodNotes. And in this video, I'm going to be going over both of them and give you my reasoning why I use each one for different reasons and which one I think is better overall for you to buy as a one purchase instead of buying both like I did. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the video. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to the iPad and we're gonna be talking about Notability first. When you open up Notability, you can see how everything is organized and GoodNotes will be different and we'll show you that later. But right here, you can see that there is a section on the left that has all the subjects and the subjects can be uh, organized through dividers which is what I do and I separate them by the semester and what happens is when you open up one of these notes this is just a plain note that I have open basically what you can do is go ahead and change the paper style to whatever you like so usually either I use lined the graph paper or the dot paper depending on the class and how many diagrams I'm I'm drawing basically but, but when you want to take notes you basically just go ahead and write and then they have three different pens so this is the ballpoint pen then they have a fountain pen which changes thickness as you're writing and depending on the pressure then they also have a dotted and then they have a second dotted that's like a circular dot instead of a straight rectangular dot. And the cool thing is they take advantage of the double tap press on the Apple Pencil and when you double tap it, it takes it over to the eraser tool, which is really helpful. And this next feature is a newer feature that they've added, but it's actually this favorite toolbar. And what I have done is put my most used pens because I use different colors for different things just to make sure that things stand out when I need them to. And also a different color highlighters for whatever system I have for taking notes. And also a dotted line because with some of the diagrams, the, the hidden lines that you're supposed to be drawing, they should be dotted. So with this, I use this as my main note taking app for pretty much all the PowerPoints and lectures just straight out of here. I don't use good notes too much, but I will be talking about how I use good notes for this semester when we get to the app. And with this one, you can take notes through text and it does this weird thing with the lines as you can see, but then when you bring, take the keyboard out, it kind of it lines everything up. So I, I don't know if that's just a glitch or that's just however they have it set up with the code. And then if you want to delete the text, you basically have to pull up the keyboard again and delete everything there. And the cool thing is that they take advantage of the gestures for the something else is that they also take advantage of the three finger gesture. So you can do undo, redo, um, depending on how you swipe. And with the selection tool, you can also copy it, I believe. And then also for the other tools, what they have is the highlighter tool, eraser, and eraser, and the eraser can do both partial and whole erasing, which is really helpful. And that's something that they didn't have before, but they added it sometime this year or last year to compete with GoodNotes. Then with the selection tool, you have two different options there. And then the finger one is just so that way you can scroll with your Apple Pencil. And then they also have a presentation mode where you can press and hold and then you get basically like this laser pointer on your notes and that will be good for presenting obviously something else is that they do have an audio recording feature which does help out a lot of students who record their lectures and the cool thing is that it tracks when your um Another neat feature is the audio recording feature, and this will help out a lot of students when they record their lectures. Because as you're writing things down, it'll basically, let 
Another neat feature is the audio recording feature, and this will be really helpful during lectures. So when you open up the audio recording, it gives you this scroll bar. And with the scroll bar, it'll basically just track down whenever you're writing and you can play back the lectures. And when you go to the lectures and you hit the, the wavelength thing to edit it, you can actually edit and split the audio so that way you can narrow down exactly when you were writing things down instead of having the entire lecture where there might be some dead space. And um, you can also do some voice boosting, equalizer, and then there's an animation preview. So they've given you a lot of control there what to use. But overall, I would say that this app is the more simple app out of the two. And I think that's why I like it for notes because a notebook is very simple. You just open it and write in it. And that's the same kind of feel I wanna go for with this application. And kind of jumping into the settings really quick, they have different themes. So you can do different dark themes. They have two, one is kind of more of like a black dark and then one is a grayish bluish tint dark but i usually like the light one just because paper's white so i want to keep it kind of like that just for that lightness i don't want it to be too dark unless it's at night then i sometimes change the theme and then basically with backup you can back it up to google drive and that's what i have done and it saves it pretty much every time you finish it'll have a little downloading and syncing icon at the bottom so you can check it out and then you have your different accounts that you can access and you also have iCloud syncing which is really helpful because it'll back it up to iCloud and then you can pull it up on your iPhone and that helps me out a lot. Something else you can do is actually import some documents from files, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, WebDAV and also document scan which is, comes in handy a lot if you're gonna be scanning documents, especially like paper copies. You don't have those as much anymore, but if you do, then you can have it like that. And also when you search from the main page, you can search the different document titles, but within the notes, you can search your handwritten notes. So that comes in handy a lot. And I think that's cool, but we'll kind of jump into GoodNotes. So when you open up GoodNotes, what you have is this kind of file management like system for organization and i think i like this look better i think it looks more organized but what happens is you can have folders in here you can have notebooks and the notebooks i think is what's what might drive some people to this app is when you open up the notebook it'll literally be like a notebook and we'll kind of jump into the cover page so the way i use this is for my lab manual so i will be importing all my lab handouts and inputting it into this so that way i have it for my thermal engineering lab and i'm going to be adding a table of contents later but basically you can come in here and you can kind of see my the lab handouts there and then they have this page view so you can view every single page right here and notability has this as well but it's this little toolbar right here as you can see Overall, I do think that the GoodNotes one is better and it also gives you options for every single page here. And you can add a page before and after, which they don't give you the option for that on Notability. And you can also bookmark pages from here. So you can have a favorite page. So when you go to favorites, you'll see that. But what you can also do is add an outline. And I think this, this is the only reason why I'm actually using this as my lab handout is so that I can have an outline for each experiment and that way I can organize it a little bit better for myself and find things a lot easier later on in the future or just later on in the semester when I've kind of filled it up a bit. Another thing that stands out with Note with GoodNotes is the wide array of customization for the notebooks and the, the amount of page templates that they have. So when you come in here, you can see all these different notebooks right here. And they have some really cool designs and I honestly would, like if I saw one of these as a printed notebook, I would probably buy it in the store, but they have these on here and they're all free to use. They're all included with the app because you're gonna be paying, I think $10 for each of these apps, but they have really cool artwork right here. You can also choose no cover and I believe you can import your own cover as well. I know you can actually import your page or uh, your papers and you can create custom ones. So if you like a dark theme, they do have a dark theme so you can take notes and then write with white pen and other color pens. They have Cornell notes. They have a planner templates. They have two column templates. They have dotted, they have graph. 
they have music sheets they have pretty much everything for these um, note paper styles so we'll kind of just do this create the notebook and then when you come in it basically has it through a hor horizontal scrolling system and you just keep scrolling to add the pages now with writing as you can see in the toolbar right here you have everything right there and you have the shape tool so it doesn't auto recognize shapes you have to click on the shape tool and this is the reason why i don't use it for notes is because i just needing to tap that just kind of slows me down a little bit too much for me to use but as far as the pens go you also have these favorite tools right here kind of like how you did a notability but they only give you three color choices and for the pen width you can just tap and set three custom preset thicknesses so that way you can adjust it and they give you more kind of more personalization options here but i think i like the notability one just because i don't have to think about it or find the right number i can just tap on the the option that i know works best for me what you can also see with good notes is that there's three different tabs here and basically whenever you open up a new notebook it's going to open up a new tab i personally really hate this tab thing because it just it just really annoys me because i hate having that extra space being taken up when i'm writing notes but for some people, they really like that system and you can easily close it. But just stuff like that kind of irritates me a little bit too much to want to use it as my main note taking app. But right here, you can go to search and you can search the basically everything. And it recognizes both the YouTube titles and also written notes, which is really helpful. And I think this is this search tool works a lot better than Notability. Then you can also do shared documents where you have multiple people collaborating collaborating on it and that's a newer feature and then they also have something that's really cool where in the settings you can turn it on and you can email to goodnotes so if you have like a document you can just email it to a specific goodnotes email that's kind of generated for you it'll automatically import it into here i don't use that and i don't think i have a use for it so i haven't turned it on but i think that'll save a lot of time for a lot of people and that'll be a really cool tool there as far as other options for both of these apps go with good notes you have this dual window support where you can create a whole nother window of it in in notability you can't do that as you can see here but what you can do is if you slide in from the left you see all your other notes and then you can scan and you can slide it in and you have both of the notes side by side I personally don't like this tool because I think having the two separate entire windows, so it's kind of like two apps open at once, that works better because this one, I constantly have to tap on it just to go to the writing. But And sometimes I try to write on the other one, but I can't. And that slows me down a little bit. And I think having the two separate windows entirely is a better route to go for this option. Something to also consider is the writing for both of these. I think that Notability has a little bit different of a writing feel in a better way. I just write neater on Notability than I do on GoodNotes. And I spend a lot of time on Notability writing. And I've also spent, you know, pretty much half a semester using GoodNotes. And I kind of use each one in the same day to try to figure out which one I like best. All right, so if I'm gonna recommend these apps, I think I would recommend the Notability app for people who want more simple notes and just like a simple application to just open and take notes. And also if you will find that auto shape recognition tool really helpful. Because for me, that saves me a lot of time and having to click on that auto shape button will kind of annoy me and slow me down a little bit during lecture and especially when these professors are going really fast. Now for good notes, I would suggest it if you're trying to use it as a planner or you want just like a separate notebook and you want that notebook kind of layout as a traditional notebook instead of having like a, this more modern way of taking notes, you can have a little bit more of a kind of a feel of a physical book, but on your iPad. And then what you can also do is import specific papers. So that way, if you have your own templates you wanna use, you can import them. And you can hyperlink things too, using like a PDF hyperlinking system, and then import it into GoodNotes. And I've seen some people do that for their planners. All right, so let me know down in the comments below which app you use to take notes on your iPad every day. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel as it does help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.